What's up, Matt fans? Uh, because it's Sweater Friday, I hope you're not thinking like a square because a lot of squares will come and say, hey man, why are we even learning circles? That's pointless. Get it? Circle, pointless. But actually, circles have infinite amount of points. So, anyway, so today we're gonna do equations of circles uh, where the center is not zero, zero. And a few videos that you should have already looked at before you get to this one is Got to be good with the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is c squared, because I used that video to then teach you the equation of a circle where the center is 0, 0. That's pretty straightforward. The equation was x squared plus y squared equals r squared, which is basically the same as the Pythagorean theorem. And I also used the Pythagorean theorem to create a distance formula, which is used to find the distance between any two points. So how do these all three relate? Well, if you want the distance from the center of a circle to a point on the circle, think about what that is. The distance from, let's say there's a circle over here, no longer is the center the origin. The center is over here somewhere. I don't know what that point is, but it's not the origin. I know that for sure. Now, here's the radius. From here to here, that little line is called a radius. If I want the distance from here to here, then... Um, I, I guess the distance formula is going to help me, all right? So knowing the radius is helpful um, for a couple of reasons. Number one is when you learn the equation of a circle, you had to know the radius because that's part of the equation. Or once you know the radius, you just square it to write the equation. So that's also the case when the center is not zero, zero. You look at it to find the center, but you need the distance formula to find the radius. So it's all linked together. So real quick, if the center is not zero, zero, it's a random point um, and it's always going to change. I could put the circle a little higher, a little lower, or even to the left or down here. So it's always going to change. So I'm not going to give you numbers. I'm going to say in general, I'm thinking the center is uh, H comma K. Okay. And I want the distance from here to any point on the circle. Could be here, could be over here, could be over here because there's actually infinite amount of points. So in general, I want the distance to x comma y. So what is the distance from hk to xy? Uh, I'm going to write that here. From uh, hk to xy. Now, if you saw this video, you know exactly what to do. And I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to use the distance formula. And the distance formula, hopefully you memorize it, is d equals square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 in inside the parentheses squared. I'm sorry, inside the, the radical squared. So in order to fill in this formula, I should just label my two points. This is x1, y1, my first x, my first y, and this is x2, y2. And it looks crazy because it's just a bunch of letters. But remember, these letters stand for numbers. In the future, you're going to get specific examples with specific numbers. So all you have to do is take those actual specific numbers and just put them in these places, these place values. You substitute. Just like if you watch basketball, it's not always about the player. It's about the position. So if that player is sick, you just substitute another player. If your teacher is sick, you just substitute another teacher. But the work is the same. So... D, distance, equals square root of x2 happens to be x. x1 uh, happens to be h squared plus y2 is y and minus k, and I'm going to square that. And that's basically it. There's not much more you can do. There's no like terms anywhere. What I do want to do is the radical signs that sometimes is annoying, so I'm going to get rid of that. Remember how to do get rid of a radical is the inverse. You square both sides. So take the whole equation, square the right side, and square the left side. What does that leave me with? D squared. Wait a minute. What is What did I say was D? It was the distance from the center to a point on the circle. What's that known as? It's known as the radius. So I'm actually going to change D to R. So R squared is equal to square root of... That and this is the equation of a circle no matter where the center is. So it's very, very similar to this, except 
If the sensor is HK, I have to include that. So let's see if you have any idea what I just said. Look at number one. I want to graph this. In order to graph this, you need two pieces of information. You need the center and you need the radius. What is the center? The center is HK. What is that? That's the numbers that go here and here. And what's interesting is, if you look at these minus signs, if you saw my other video, distance is found by subtracting the numbers. So you actually want to see a minus sign here. And then you just give me the numbers that come after the minus sign. So if I see a minus sign here, that's a good thing. That means my x coordinate was 2, just 2, positive 2. But what about the y coordinate? There's no minus, there's a plus there. Where did the plus come from? It really came from a minus, second minus, minus negative. So this number was actually negative 3. You're looking for the opposite. So my center of this equation, of this equation, it's giving me a circle, the center of that circle is positive 2 comma negative 3. So in the future, just remember, switch the signs and you're good. 2 comma negative 3. Remember what the radius is? It's whatever number is here, but that's r squared. So you gotta take the square root, and my radius is three. Once you know facts, you just draw the circle. So here's my x, here's my y, comma, uh, two comma three is right, one, two, three, two comma negative three is right there. That's my center, and now my radius is three, so if you remember what that means, it means from the center, go up three, one, two, three, Go left three, one, two, three. Go down three, one, two, three. Go to the right three, one, two, three. One, two, three is here. And then just sketch your circle. If you want it to be close to perfect, you're gonna use graph paper. You might even use a compass. But this should get you full credit on any test, okay? You see the center, you see the radius. Boom, you see the circle. Let's think backwards now. Here's the circle, give me the equation. What do you need? Two things, you need the center and you need the radius. Looking at this thing should be very clear what the center is, it's right there. So that's negative one, one, two, three, four. That's negative one comma four. Very easy. What's the radius? Hmm, just count. One, two, three, four down. One, two, three, four right. One, two, three, four up. And one, two, three, four, you're safe to assume four left. Radius is four. So I have my information, what's the equation? This is the equation right here, all right? So that is, um, I'll put it here for you. I'm actually gonna reverse this thing. I'm gonna write this part first. So it is, hmm. Oh, you know what? Add to your notes this one piece. Since I took the square root, um, since I took the square root of something squared, this and this was supposed to cancel. I apologize, that's a big deal. So what happens is this radical is actually gone. I hope that didn't cause too much confusion. That radical is actually gone. And this is the equation of a circle. The center is h comma k and the radius is still r. So that's why I was able to look at it like this, no square root. You don't want the square root there. So this is it without the square root sign. All right, so you're gonna have to rewind that and fix that. Um, okay, so I need this specific equation. What is it? X, hmm, X, opposite sign, plus one, squared, plus, opposite sign, Y minus four, squared, equals, 4 squared, or you can say 16, and that is the equation for that circle. This is the equation for this circle. Alright, thanks for watching. See ya.